welcome back to Math T UK. What am I doing this evening? Well, I'm actually reviewing this camera here. And you will notice there is a significant sound difference. But, why am I reviewing this camera? Well, it has night vision capability. It's an unbranded camera, so it's all the way from the good old China. I don't know anything about it. It has a few features on it. Some of them are totally irrelevant due to the fact of the poor picture quality that we can see right now. So, is it any good? I mean, as a camera like this, I'm totally stationary and the picture's not that good. But if I move my head fast, you still you lose you lose the shot where if I look in this camera and shake my head I just look like a lunatic <laughs> so we're gonna have a look at it because it's got night vision capability is the night vision capability any good is it worth the 60 pounds that I paid just to have a shot in the dark excuse the pun so let's have a look shall we but before we do welcome to my new man cave this is a room that I've always wanted I've got my uh, rifle uh, bullet making equipment over there and I've got my office equipment and my um, editing software here you can see I've already started to edit certain parts of the video already I had to reshoot the beginning due to the fact that I turned you off and never turned you back on again so I did a lot of recording and never picked you up so I at, you, at the end of the day it's you that I'm reviewing this camera not you so <laughs> but before we do let's have a quick look at the man cave show me let me let me show you around a little bit it's uh, something I'm very proud of now I've done everything I, when I first moved in here it was a complete mess there was this fibrous material on the wall with chipboard on it and uh, I, I took everything off, took it back to the bare basics, completely insulated everything. There was no insulation in here whatsoever. Insulated everything, plasterboarded, plastered, rewired, and plumbed everything myself. So I'm, I'm very, very pleased with the results, and I want you to have a look at it. Uh, I do have the little room to the side which isn't finished yet, which will hold all my air beds and hammocks and everything left out and not compacted into their little stuff sacks. But as it stands this is the room as it will be I've still got my garage but most of my expensive stuff will be in here uh, where it's nice and safe under all the alarms and everything so this is where it's important so have a look let me show you around I'm gonna keep you on this time I'm not gonna turn you off because I know I'll forget to turn you back on again oh and by the way yeah I've still got a broken arm <laughs> your nose is not in a sling um, I've got to take it out every now and again and I've got to exercise it and straighten my arm and bend my arm so I'm told by the doctor a little bit of home uh, physiotherapy and it's agony uh, I still can't drive I can't do anything I'm, I'm stuck I'm housebound so um, everything I do is one-handed at this moment in time so it's not fun but it's not going to stop me doing anything I'm still going to East Drive next week and I'm still going to go fishing in, in, in um, the 5th of April so nothing is going to, it ain't going to stop me doing anything. So it's just getting on with it really. I'm just so lucky I didn't have a cast. If I had a cast put on I probably couldn't have done them. But um, I'm just, if you want to look at it, it's a funny sort of luck isn't it? But um, yeah, I'm glad I've not got a cast on. But I am quite vulnerable to knocks and bangs and every now and again I keep knocking myself when the sling's off. And it does, uh, does hurt a bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I did do it falling out of a door. A simple door, nothing dramatic. I can't even make a story out of it. Anyway, let me show you around. To enable me to do my uh, videoing, I've, as you can see, I've got the two cameras on tripods there. So obviously that's that's just the way it's got to be to try and review the camera. This is uh, my desk, my new desk, and uh, my lovely shelf with Gromit. Say hello, Gromit. Just as a bit of a heads up of uh, reviewing the H1N next week so there's something else to look forward to I'll pan across over to my drinks table now yeah you can tell there's no wine in that decanter unfortunately look at my lovely lampshade oh 
it should be turned around really I don't like that stripe there and my original oils that I purchased out of a little tack shop the genuine oil paintings that one is Grasmere that one is Scarfell Pike up there and we pan round now and we'll have a look at the gun side of stuff this is my bullet making area so I've got my bits and bobs there everything's all good to go got my wardrobe where um, our winter hiking coats and all our winter gear is in for Karen and I when we go away and my little cupboard if we just look outside the door we're back to basics here we go look plastering required I can't do it because of my arm but that's the state of the place outside my man cave so they oh and I still need a blind to go up yet I've not put a blind up yet so I hope you enjoy that nice little walk around it's took me some time but I've got it exactly what I wanted there is a chair missing there's a leather chair gonna go there which would be just right for my relaxing area I'm watching a bit of TV or whatever or a bit of YouTube just sat in a nice leather chair there so until that arrives that's how it is let's get on with the video shall we so let's now have a look at this camera in a bit more detail I've, as you can see I've already done it it's in, in the background now but let's have a have closer look see what we've got going on with this camera when I say this camera I mean this camera not this camera so a quick look see at the camera um, it is a full HD camera it has 24 megapixels it has lots of different bits and bobs stuck to it and it's a time 18 zoom uh, it's controlled pretty much the same as any other camera there's a speaker on the top there and zoom in is controlled by there and if you want to take pictures you can take pictures using there at the rear of the camera you've got your uh, record button and your um, access for your leads and uh, HV cables in there underneath we have the uh, battery housing and the uh, SD card now it's a large SD card in this one so it's not the small one it's, it's working on old technology and the only disadvantage I see here is is you've got to take this mount off to actually change the battery so if you were trying to change the battery in a hurry isn't it, that's not going to happen the lens itself comes with a um, demountable lens cover as opposed to a, a internal slide and if you if you look at the front of the camera there you will see right on the very top of the lens the three LEDs for the night vision cam and the IR sensor is there so that is uh, the camera up close it looks okay there's enough weight to it the build is, is strong enough it feels okay it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart in my hands at any minute I have tried it before so I do know that the uh, picture isn't that good now your inside the camera there you have your uh, buttons to adjust the resolutions and everything and all your settings and what I've found so far is every time you do adjust everything it goes back to factory default the minute you turn the camera off which is bloody annoying so if you wanted to stay in night mode it, it as soon as you turn the camera off it goes back into day mode again so you, you have to manually do it every single time which is a bit of a pain but there you go so for £60 will it do pictures in the dark before we move on to the uh, camera in a bit more detail I'm just going to show you once again the difference so I want you to see the the three in IR lights on the top of the lens there you can see them right in the middle of the picture now three IR lenses now they are okay they do work in a very small room I think a maximum distance of three meters uh, however I found that you needed to add more light and if I was to use something like this this is my hunting um, infrared torch it is a night master 800 and it's three times the value of the camera itself and it's definitely definitely overkill so this is not really it's just too much it's too much for that camera um, and, and I'll show you later uh, but it, it makes a hell of a difference 
So rather than use this lens, which I say is just three times more than the camera it's worth itself, um, I went out and purchased a budget, I think it was £10 light, and I, I had a bicycle mount already with me, and I mount that on my tripod, and that's a £10 infrared light, and that itself makes an, a tremendous difference to the picture quality when you're recording in the dark. So if you're going to get this camera, and they, they, you absolutely, I totally recommend that you buy a budget infrared torch to go with it, with a mount, to enable you to uh, get the best out of this camera, because as a video recorder throughout the day, I don't think it's much use. So let's now go back, put the camera on its mount, let's have a look at it, let's have a look at it with a torch, and then we'll start filming in the dark. So there's the camera mounted on the tripod. I know you've seen that all before, but I wanted to show you the infrared light, and that's the best I could do with the equipment that I've got. So basically I've just got the torch pointing in the same direction of the camera. I need to move the entire tripod should I wish to change angle. Okay, that's the only uh, downside to this because it doesn't follow the camera, it's not attached to the camera, it's attached to the tripod only. So for static shots it's absolutely fine. If I was walking around with it I would need to carry the torch in my hand and that's the only difference. We'll have a quick look at the other side. Nothing amazing, as I said, nothing you haven't seen before. Now let's have a go at filming in the dark. Firstly I'm going to turn off all the other lights and just use the camera itself. So here we are, this is the camera, on its own I can see the three LED lights that are uh, shining at me and as you can see it is workable, it is doable, it does, I mean I can tell you it isn't, I am in the dark and when I turned everything off I need my head torch to uh, see where I was going. There you are, this is it at its absolute basic format, this is the video camera with just itself. So all in all, I'm about a meter away from the camera. I don't think it's too bad. I think that's okay. Uh, but is it worth it? Well, I can see in the dark and I can't with my other one. So from that point of view, yeah, it's, 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 it's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I can see in the dark with it and film in the dark with it. Let's now try using my 10 pound torch that I've stuck on the bottom. Let's turn that on now and see how we go. Boom! <laughs> what a difference that is with a £10 torch stuck on it. And you can quite clearly see the difference, difference is incredible and well worth the extra, although my beady black eyes do look even closer together now. Yeah, so uh, it, it's from that point of view, now it's gone to a £70 camera nearly. Do I think the upgrade is worth it? Absolutely, 100%. Yes, you can't fault it. I can't fall off. I think it's far, far worth it, it, its money now because of the simple upgrade. What I am going to do, just for the hell of it, is turn on my Nightmaster 800. Now, I have not done this before, so I don't really know how this is going to play out. The Nightmaster 800, as soon as I put it into my face, it will completely uh, block everything out because basically it's it's a beam that will go out to 800 meters. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the other torch and, and just use the Nightmaster on this one. Right, so that's just with the normal camera again. Like I say, not too bad. I'll just turn. No, the, the torch isn't facing me yet, it's just facing straight up. I'm just turning it now, slightly tilting it towards me, tilting it towards me, and there we go, I'll start to flare out. <laughs> so you can see, at short range, this torch is just too powerful. It's no good. So, but, it, I mean, it is fantastic. If I, if I, I've got a mirror in here, I can reflect off a mirror somewhere. I've got all sorts of stuff to reflect it off there. You, you can see it. Look at that. There's no light whatsoever. There is no light. That is just purely infrared light. 
So you can see it's far too powerful for this camera. And that is the night vision capabilities at close range. Let's turn the camera around now and focus at something which is three meters away. And that is now as what we're looking at now is the camera on its own, just as it is as the camera. I must stop moving my arm. So there's my workstation then. That is literally two, just over two meters away. And now I'm gonna turn on the uh, additional torch. Boom. Massive difference. That's a 10 pound torch. Now let's overkill with the Nightmaster 800. Too much. We, I don't think we need to look at the Nightmaster 800 anymore. It just completely floods out anything this camera wants to look at. It's far too powerful. But with that torch, that is incredible. So I am twice the distance away now than I was just a minute ago. And yeah, I think that's a pretty good, from what I can see in my viewfinder, that's a pretty good shot. I don't particularly have a problem with that. I think that's uh, pretty good, to be honest with you. Let's turn off the additional torch. Now, two meters away with that setup, and as you can see, I'm starting to blend into the background quite a lot. I don't know the picture quality. I can't see, I can't see myself anywhere near as clear as I was before. Um, but yeah, there's a distinct difference and it's quite clear. So going back to our infrared torch light again, I think that pretty much concludes what I think of the camera on its own and compared with an additional light. And I, you will find it very difficult to disagree with me in saying that the, the difference is phenomenal just for the sake of an extra few pounds. And I think that's important for this camera. The camera on its own, not very good. It does film in the dark, but up close and personal. If you want any sort of depth whatsoever, you do need additional light. End of story. That's all I can say about this camera, really. So, can I recommend this camera to you? As a everyday video camera, walking around, going on holiday with, taking shots of stuff, absolutely not. Don't waste your money. If you were just purchasing it for the night vision mode, um, then yeah, why not? Go for it. £60. If you can afford it and you're not out of your budget, then yeah. Yeah, you, you, it's okay. You, you can see it does work. However, do the mods that I did and it will be a much better camera. So, if you're after a night vision camera, yes, I can recommend it for night vision camera only. There are other features in this camera that don't mount to a hill of beans, really, when you think of it, because if the picture quality is poor, whether you can detect a face and a smile and all that sort of good nonsense that goes with it is totally irrelevant because you won't see anything anyhow. So, yeah, nice little night vision camera, but that's all. I hope you found that interesting. If you have any further questions, uh, leave them till next week. <laughs> because I'm going to be using it the next week, because we are going to 30 East Drive. So, yeah, that should be good next week. I'm really looking forward to that. It is a bit of fun. You've got to remember, we're just going for a bit of fun. The, the lad we're going with, he is a paranormal investigator and he takes it serious and I don't blame him for that, I'm not ridiculing him, but uh, we are going for the interest value only, okay? So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the next review is going to be of this mic. This is an HM1. It is a, uh, a little tiny microphone and I've purchased it to uh, combat some wind noise I'm getting every time I go out and I'm going to be reviewing that very shortly so look forward to seeing that one bye bye